question because uh, as uh, as we would all as we would all know that uh, the the future shape of economy both regional and global is going to be skill based and uh, and ultimately the competitiveness of the region will be preserved or enhanced by moving uh, into the higher ends of the value chain. Investment in human resources will therefore become very important. I have, I have chosen um, just one or two sp uh, specific indicators in which this particular region requires special uh, attention. This is, just a, this is just a comparative view as to how uh, certain, uh, some, num uh, some economies are investing uh, in their in the in the future human resources, the years ahead uh, will not. Uh, the growth is not just important in the years ahead. Quality of growth will be very important, as as we can see in many of the developed economies. Uh, it is the uh, uh, distribution of growth is becoming a major policy issue before policymakers, uh, before governments, and uh, Asia Pacific, uh, especially the emerging economies, need to need to be especially prepared for that. Therefore, investing into quality of growth will be important for all countries. And um, uh, this is also a very, uh, it's a very, um, you could even say it's a random, but never mind, uh, you would still like to take a look at it uh, uh, as to how we are faring in terms of our, uh, in terms of nurturing skills and uh, knowledge based. Why I'm emphasizing on these numbers is because these ultimately form the foundation of services economy. Therefore, investing into skills, investing into, uh, into trained, uh, training, investing into research and development, these are very important issues for Asia Pacific. Uh, this is a comparative bar and we can see how we are performing. And um, some of the countries individually are doing very well, but as a region, um, our uh, figure slides down. And if we need to preserve our reputation as factory of the world uh, in, in, in a post-manufacturing uh, uh, post economy, then uh, a whole lot of uh, attention needs to, uh, needs to be brought into uh, these, uh, these investments. Uh, where are we in RCEP? Uh, uh, the good news is that uh, services, negotiation on services, at least qualitatively, is ahead of the negotiations in, um, in, uh, uh, in goods. But the important message is not just about uh, uh, RCEP, since the theme of this panel was uh, regional integration. Um, I would not want to uh, link up RCEP or services <coughs> trade per se. Uh, with uh, with tr uh, with trade, uh, the advances in services trade is for enhancing the competitiveness competitiveness of the Asia Pacific region, uh, and uh, in doing this, uh, um, there needs to be a policy focus on important areas. Um, some of them I already mentioned, but what is the leadership position that we are going to take? Taxation is going to be a very important issue. We don't need to be followers. We need to create, just as in the uh, past uh, two decades, we, we created our own regional debate <coughs> on important issues of IPR, on important issues of innovation, creating our own Asia Pacific voice. Similarly, we not need to create our own outlook on important policy areas of taxation, um, uh, corporate reporting, uh, allocation of financial resources. Uh, um, uh, as many of us here would know that a lot of leadership initiative has already been taken, especially in Europe, uh, EU, but Asia Pacific needs to bring uh, uh, a huge uh, attention back on these important policy uh, issues in a post-manufacturing world where services will play a very important role. And, uh, and uh, in one form or the other, Asia Pacific may like to take uh, may like to uh, create its own voice on these important issues. Thank you.